Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. Uh, today's video, I'll be doing a review of Cowboy Bebop Episode 1. This is the new live action series for Netflix, uh, but I won't be doing it alone. Hello there, Hello. Hello, Radical Edward. <laughs> I love the name. As I've often uh, been called. Uh, yeah, so we'll be talking about uh, Cowboy Bebop episode one i wanted to bring in somebody that's a little more familiar with the anime uh, i really haven't watched a lot of the anime so i kind of went into this show not having a lot of expectations as to you know what to look forward to of this adaptation um so we can talk about the episode and then talk about how it compares to the anime and and yeah we'll go from there So we will be going into spoilers. Um, so here's your spoiler warning for episode one and probably a little bit of the anime as well. Uh, so if you haven't yeah. seen that, go watch that. Go watch the whole anime and then come back and watch this video. Um, so how did uh, how did you... Well, actually, before we get into it, what's your history with uh, Cowboy Bebop? Uh, so my history is, I think I saw the movie as soon as it got to the U.S., so probably, like, sometime in 2002, so about mm -hmm. 20 years ago, and uh, at that point, I think uh, Toonami was airing Cowboy Bebop, so I just kind of rolled into watching it from there, and I was absolutely obsessed, like, a lot of people growing up say, like, they, they grew up with Star Wars. Well, Cowboy Bebop was my Star Wars. I was absolutely obsessed, and I've loved it, and I've rewatched it a few times since then, although not for a few years now. Um, so let's go into the actual episode of the live-action series, uh, and then we can talk a little bit more about kind of how it compares to, to the original material. Um, so overall thoughts, what did you think of the first episode? Okay, so... Do you want me to start with no spoilers or just go ahead and get into it? Uh, we, we've gone right into spoilers. I think people, people have okay. been one. It's so only one episode we're talking I about. Think the, I think I've, to be clear, I have uh, watched more than just the first episode. But to limit it to the first episode, I think that uh, in terms of casting, for the most part, it was really well done. And how mm -hmm. the opening scene really gets you involved and invested with the characters pretty well. And I think they did a good job of opening with a scene that is in no way, shape or form in the anime. And then that leads you to a story that is the first episode of the anime, but mm -hmm. blends it in with sequences that will happen later on. Um, all these episodes are a little longer than your typical yeah. anime episodes. So they're you know drawing out these stories. And I think they executed that in a good way, but for the most part, that's where my positives kind of end. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I, I definitely enjoyed the, the opening scene. Uh, and that was one of the, the, no the notes I made. Because like you mentioned, this, this first episode is an hour long, almost. Yeah. Uh, and it really only adapts. I went back to just to check. It really only adapts probably the first episode of the, of the, like the 20 minute episode of the anime. Okay. The show um takes characters that are all throughout the anime and just kind of drops them in, in situations that are kind of similar but kind of dissimilar to what they were doing mm -hmm. so yeah. they're sort of telling their own story with elements from the anime okay so you'll see characters from the anime just in kind of different situations than than how they were originally explained to us in the source material. Yeah, because it was a, it feels like a little bit of a remix because we definitely don't see anything about the syndicate in the first episode of the show in the anime. No. But here it's mm -hmm. a big part of it. It's a big part of the episode, right? There's a whole subplot of like the syndicate and kind of who they are and how um, Spike may be involved or may have been involved with them. Um, but yeah, the, the first opening scene is really cool. I love when the when the disruptor makes a hole in the casino uh, wall, uh, and everything just kind of starts going crazy. Um, I think it looked really good, uh, and like you mentioned, the casting overall, like it's really great. I think 
uh, John Cho looks great. Uh, there was a scene yes. where he was just practicing. Uh, that's definitely pulled straight from the anime. I went back to check. Uh, and yes, he's just is. in really good shape, and it looks really, really cool. Uh, so as far as the aesthetics of the show, I think they they really nailed that part. Uh, but the, one of the one of the issues I had was the pacing of it. It felt like because they were stretching it out so much and introducing so many other other, other elements, it was a little choppy. It was a little slow. And I was like, oh, like I, I checked a couple of times, like how long have I been watching this episode? Yes, I thought it was moving. I thought the pacing was okay at first, but when it gets to the end, I thought the cuts they made were yeah. very strange. Like I could tell they were kind of, they were taking scenes directly from the anime, but mm -hmm. it's like, why did you edit it like that? When I'm sure you could show like someone getting their throat cut, which in the anime, they couldn't show that, but live action, right. you probably could have just showed it. You didn't have to emulate that scene. That seemed like mm -hmm. something you should have made a change for that you didn't make a change for. And the scene where, I don't work, I don't know names, the woman's floating in space and you see the drugs um that scene oh, yeah. didn't have the same weight that it did in the anime like i felt they made a cut that they shouldn't have made and it, yep. it moved too fast paced in, in those ones so it was just not very well visually striking there was no emotional impact which the anime very much had which was right. a disappointment yeah. Right. yeah i i do like seeing them fly around in space i think those the whatever hyper space time system yeah. they have the tunnels the uh, the cool. guy who's talking to them is and telling them they can go through is steve bloom who did the voice for spike originally in the english dub oh that's great okay cool yeah um i didn't even yeah i didn't catch that at all that's great um yeah i'm glad i mean i know but there's the, a lot the of people involved and mm -hmm. all that is really great like whoever did yeah. the set designs Spot on for sure. Yeah, the bebop, the bebop especially looks like straight out of the anime. Um, yes, which I really like. Um, how do you how do you like the relationship between Spike and uh, Jet? Jet, yeah. So Jet, I Jet. really like. I really, I, I really like how they're depicted throughout. I'm just gonna say throughout the show. Like I think the actors. They're really good actors and they bounce off each other really well um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It, which goes back to casting they just did a really really great job um for the bebop crew there are some other people that i think were horribly miscast and horribly <laughs> miswritten <laughs> um but okay. not uh, but you wouldn't know that from the first episode although one of them was okay. in the first episode <laughs> um i'm um... I'm trying to go through everyone, and I, I, I want to say maybe the dude at the end with the blonde hair. Vicious. Yes, he was. Yeah. I don't know. I don't yeah, know looks, why they they wrote him the way they did, and the actors yeah. portraying him. I'm I'm assuming on how he was directed. Um, I don't know what that decision was. It reminded me of everyone's favorite show, Iron Fist. It reminded me of the the Mechums, and I'm like, yes, that's what everybody wants. You, oh, oh, yeah. you got yeah, it, yeah. nailed it. I want you to take me what, away from all the yeah, action uh, to take me away from all the action to listen to this dude speak and uh, be just mean, and then talk to this lady. I know she'll come into the picture later. They made it very obvious that it's the same person from the flashbacks uh, with the tattoo, or maybe not. Maybe that's a misdirect, but. Julia. Yeah. 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 Uh, so that that part's interesting. I'm interested in, could, because because I haven't seen the anime. I don't know what Spike's backstory really is, and how he came to do what he's doing. So I'm interested to see how that plays in with the syndicate, and and the guy that recognized him and called him fearless, and everybody. So like I, as soon I, as you I said that. Explain this. I can explain this without spoiling. Um, it's funny sure. the, the the person who created the show Watanabe. Um, who I believe the casino is named after. He mm -hmm. specifically said something about Spike's past and that he never did a specific thing with it because he realized that by not doing that, that's why people liked him so much. That yeah. thing he never did is entirely what the show, the live action show does. And I think that's why a lot of people aren't liking it. 
<laughs> which is which is so funny. I see. That's he, interesting. They, they did the thing the creator said he didn't do, which is why people liked it. And now people aren't liking it. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I avoided doing this one thing and had a successful show. And Netflix just heard that and said, oh, okay, let's do the thing you didn't do. Yes. Um, they did not uh, understand the assignment. They didn't. Yeah, I, I definitely saw a lot of uh, feedback online. It really feels like the more involved you are with, like, the anime and like the more invested you've been in watching the anime and waiting for this um probably the more you kind of dislike this adaptation of it uh because like you just said it looks like they didn't really understand what people liked about the show um yeah. even the, the fights don't feel as fluid and i know it's animation versus live action but um some of the fights they feel a little slow they don't feel as fluid i don't know there was something about the the fights that then you know whatever little i saw like because especially because spike is like such an elon like he's drawn so elongated and he you know flexible and stuff so i, I wish they did a little bit more than that um i do have a note here in my notes that says so many dutch angles uh and and i love a dutch angle when the camera's tilted and i'm like but this show really really just they had so many camera tilts um yes they were all over I, the place i liked the stylization and i think i think they kind of get away with the action a little bit because it is so stylized mm -hmm. that if they they had been a bit more straightforward with the narratization and the visuals that it wouldn't have worked as well um with that having been said i think if you change the pacing and the music the action would definitely fall flat um 100 percent um yeah yeah the, the with, the music with that having been said that's usually not what i'm watching it for though anyway so there's bias there yeah the music definitely comes with a lot of goodwill from from before oh um, for sure uh i feel like if this episode was a little bit shorter uh they could have it, it would have been a little bit better uh, maybe well, save some of the stuff. Haven't that gotten, they, gave they haven't gotten far enough yet, but they 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 made a fatal flaw for me. Um, which I guess because they're not doing it, it's probably okay for me to say, right? Or well, no, because I might be giving it away that they're not doing it. I won't say, but they they neglected to do something that I think is kind of essential to his character and the theme of the entire show. They sort of left okay. it out. Um, it's one of those things that's like. It's like when you read a book and you realize a detail's not in it. That's not important in the first book, but it's super important if they wanted a sequel. And you're like, well, now if you haven't read the book, you're not going to understand the, I see. the second movie. They kind of they kind of did one of those moves. Uh, yeah. So I think overall, I'll probably keep watching the show just to see what's going on. I'm I'm interested enough in all the stuff you you mentioned uh, to kind of try to find those things and see how. It, See how somebody that hasn't really watched all of the anime uh, kind of receives that information. And then, like I said, I'm interested enough in Spike's past for now uh, to try to figure out how far they or how much of that story they give us. Um, I also saw on Twitter they're going to introduce another character from, from the anime that everyone kind of had been waiting for. Um, the reception's also kind of mixed there. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, Maybe we can talk about that later as well. Oh, um, I got words about that one. No, you mentioned you might be doing a whole video about the whole season. So if that's a thing, uh, let me know so we can promote it in the channel and we'll send people that way. Because I'll definitely be looking forward to um, seeing your your opinion on the whole season as a whole. Well, um, really what right, it comes down you... to, I'm just here as a PSA, watch the anime. And there already exists. A wonderful right. live action version of Cowboy Bebop. It's called Firefly. Find it, kids. Watch it. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't even think of that. Because I do love Firefly. It is bait or it is inspired by Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, that makes sense. For however short it was, uh, I do enjoy uh Firefly. Final thoughts. Would you recommend people watch this or I don't I don't know what you think? If you're if you've never seen the anime, I I think the show's okay like even as a show by itself it's okay if you have seen the anime uh, <laughs> I, I would say probably not 
Ah, especially it's, it's, it's the last episode that really is just a knife in the heart. Oh, okay. That last episode. Yeah, I, I... You know, yeah, that can be a, a difficult walk to line. And I think this is that was a trouble that they had with this, where it's you don't want a carbon copy of something that you can't mm. make it as good as the original because it's it's being told in a different medium. But you also when you tell a different story with the same within the same world, uh, thematically and with the same characters, mm -hmm. um, it's not automatically gonna get hated, but I think they just kind of fundamentally failed to look at the depth the show had. And, and then they, they kind of focus more on these, unfortunately, a bit more shallow details, which yeah. they got pretty well, but um, except for one or two big ones. Uh, all right. Well, <laughs> thank you. Uh, let go. Um, like I said, I'm looking forward to you if, if you end up doing a whole thing for this uh, Cowboy Bebop adaptation. I look forward to seeing that. Uh, I'll put a link in the in the description to your channel. Uh, and thanks for stopping by and giving us your expertise. Uh, so thanks, everyone, for watching. Uh, remember to share, like, subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when we go live and we drop these videos. Uh, and have a good one. Bye-bye. Sorry?